All right, this is gonna be our first look, extensive look at the AD15 Lite from the Cold Steel 2021 collection. I'm excited to look at this with you guys. So let's get into this. Please, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please, hold, please, please hold. It's my pleasure to present Jimmy Slash. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Let's look at the specs real quick. Check those out. Can you see those? All right, there we go. Open this up. Slide this bad boy out. All right. Let's read that there. Upside down there. <laughs> okay, folks, look at that. Let me tell you right away. In hand, it... Oh, well, I'm not going to get into that. It just feels good in hand. I'll get into the other stuff later. Let's check this out here. So we got the one, two, three, like three point, what, six inches. Is that what it says? It says three and a half. It looks a little bit longer than three and a half there. Two, three, yeah, about 3.6 inches of Aus 10A. I love Cold Steel's Aus 10A. I don't have any problem with that as a steel. I don't. I haven't tested it super exclusively or extensively, but when I did, I didn't, it didn't fail at all. And I don't feel like it's a huge downgrade from their S35 VN. Maybe they're not S doing S35 VN as well as their Austin A. I don't know. But it's not a huge downgrade. Let's just keep going on this. I'm not going to speak blasphemy or anything like that. Check that out. Got the G10 scales. Got the reversible pocket clip there. Got that scorpion lock. Got that super fidgety, awesome scorpion lock. It's totally ambidextrous. Oh, this thing is just locked up like a tank. Excellent pivot there. If we can get that on camera without too much problem. There we go. All right. Excellent lanyard hole. Scorpion lock is just locked up. It's super easy to use once you get used to it. It just becomes a real excellent fidget knife. Feels amazing in hand. This thing feels just as good as the other AD 15s in hand, whether it's the custom or the cold steel, the regular one. Check that out. All right, now what we're gonna have to look at here is the weight on this thing is a little bit lighter. I guess that's where we're getting the light from. I can't look at the, I don't know where my scale is. I was going to turn around and do something magical and find that scale, but I don't see it anywhere. And I don't feel like spending time digging through this pile of mess. So, we'll just look at it right here. So, on here, it's 6.2 ounces. Can you see that? So, that's 6.2 ounces. But if you look at the AD15, it's actually 6.5. So, I don't know what the difference is. Anybody know what the difference is in their construction there? Is it... I don't know if this, this is made out of different material or if this is made out of different material. I should probably look at that real quick. Hold on one second. Okay, so apparently the only difference is the scale. This, is, this isn't G10 at all. I had these out with the other AD15 and it. I thought this was G10. I closed my eyes and I couldn't tell the difference in the scales. So this is actually the Grivix. And I don't know, you know, I know a lot of people have problems with Grivix. I have no idea why. But with the with the liners in there, with the steel liners in there, you're not going to have any issue. If you think that Grivix is less durable, well, that's fine. Unless you're just going to take this thing and start hammering the mess out of it, that's never going to break because of the steel liners. So that's not really going to have an issue. So that might be why it's just a little bit lighter than the G10 scales. I'm guessing that's what it is. So have a look there. And the action is just about the same as a brand new kind of 8015 action. We're going to look at them together here in a second. Don't get excited. Don't get ahead of me. I know what you're thinking. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let me see the difference. Let me see the similarities. They are very, very similar. They are super, super similar. In fact, we're going to do a super, super similar test here in a second. I love the big thumb studs, of course. I'm a big fan of big thumb studs. 
you know, they got the 8015 light here. A lot of people don't like too much billboarding. I've seen people take that off pretty easily if you don't like it, but I like it. I like names and faces and all kinds of stuff on my blades. Makes it interesting. Like I said, reversible pocket clip. This is a truly ambidextrous knife. And just um, this. All right, let's get into the price real quick. Now, the thing is, for the price that I bought this one at on the Cold Steel website, you can get these. You can get the regular 8015s on the secondary market right now, like on eBay and Blade Form and stuff, right in that range. Like in the, and maybe even a little bit cheaper, but right in that 155 range, you can get them right now. So, that being said, I wouldn't pay the Cold Steel price on this unless you're a crazy knucklehead knife reviewer and you're trying to let everybody see this and get a first shot at looking at this. However, as far as value goes, if you're paying, you know, 180 or 190 for this, then this is well worth it. Now, if they can get this thing down, man, if they get this in the 115, 110 range, I would buy these. You got to buy this all day long at that price. This knife is just such a good knife. And that Aus 10A that they're using over there is amazing. Go look at the stuff I did with the Scout last year and beat the mess out of that. And I think the, the Chris Voyager. All right, so here is the regular 8015. Check that out. We'll put those together real quick. Check that out together. You see that? They're very 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 close to being the same i don't know just measurement wise just side by side wise you can just tell so this is the i'm telling you this is the Gr grivix and this is the g10 and you can't i can't tell the difference by touching it and if that's all the only reason, now let's just say G10 isn't going to break on you. Well, it doesn't matter. You got those liners. So what that doesn't really come down to it. So if all they're doing is reducing the Grivix, reducing the G10 to the Grivix, and it saves you a bunch of money, in this case, that's a great thing. Check that out. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little test here. And... Let me close these up for this test. All right, I need my assistant to come over. Hold on one second. Okay, I have my lovely assistant here. And what she's going to do is I'm going to close my eyes. There you go. There's her lovely assistant hands. There you go. And when I close my eyes, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to tell her to go. And she's going to shuffle these. And I'm going to see if I can't just by touching tell you which one is which. And then I'll pick them up. I'll probably be able to tell just because of the difference in weight. I'm going to be dead honest here. I did this a couple years ago with a different knife, with the form axis. So, here we go. All right. You ready, assistant? All right, go. Okay. Okay, so here I am. I'm just going to touch them. I'm not going to pick them up yet. All right, this is kind of a tough one. So now, this one feels a little bit rougher, like it's less broken in. Is this the 80, is this the light? Is this the black one? No. Oh, dang, <laughs> see? <laughs> All right. All right, this time we'll flip them over on the other side. I'm gonna say go one more time, and then you shuffle them around. All right, go. thumb stud all right let me feel the edge of that blade there let's see if one it's a little bit smoother all right oh wait let me check that out all right this one feels a little bit rougher here i'm gonna go this is the black one yes all right so that's that just with the jimping 
I went with the black one. Okay, one more time. I'm just going to pick them up and see if I can tell by the weight. Okay. All right. Hold out your hands. All right. <laughs> this is tough. Uh, oh, man. This is the green one. Yes. All right. So I could tell by the weight, just barely. It took me a little bit. Two out of three ain't bad. All right. So there you go. Thank you, beautiful assistant. So I'm telling you, this is really difficult to tell the difference and the quality of this knife and the quality of the build. Now I'm I'm not sure I'm gonna beat the mess out of this either of these just because I'm running out of beat the mess out of knives money. But I wouldn't mind testing it. Maybe I'll test it. I'm gonna test it. I gotta test it. Just to test that it, I'll test both of them. I gotta test it against each other. We'll do that on a different video. Maybe manana. So there you go, I'm telling you guys. 8015 light is no joke. Now, if you get this at the price it is at Cold Steel, you may feel you're gonna feel like a maybe like a twenty dollar punch in the stomach. Like, man, I should have paid. And only because it's the light. Only because if you get it and you don't like it, <clears throat> because it has light on it, <coughs> because it has light on it, somebody's not gonna want to buy it from you as quickly as they'd want to buy this one. However, for quality of knife and for what you're gonna be able to do with these knives. You can, you're not getting that. You're not getting a jump on this. This. So let's just say they get this down to 120 bucks, and then this one is still in the 100, you know, 60 range on the secondary market. I take this one. I would take this one all day long. There's there's not like a 40 dollar difference in what these knives are capable of. Not a 40 dollar difference in the steels as far as what you can be able to do with them. This is a great knife. As far as what I'm looking at right now and just the initial assessment and knowing what I do about the AD15 and the Scorpion Lock. Now, we've tested the Scorpion Lock, so we're not gonna have to be able to question that. But as far as just everything being so similar to the regular knife, this is a great knife. You're not gonna feel bad. If this comes down in the one, even in the 125 range, the 120, 125 range, and these are still way up there and you're trying to count your pennies go get you a 35 dollars another knife or whatever and get this one this is a great knife but this this is not a bad step down it's, it's not a huge it's not even a step down it's just you know that grivix and the aus 10 and we've seen what the aus 10 will do so is it really that huge of a difference let me know what you think down there i know a bunch of you got the ad 15s the light if you like the 15, the light is right up there with it as far as just a great, great knife. And you, you're, if you're wondering if you should get one, get one. I would get one when the prices come down a little bit. You know, when they start hitting that 125 range, you're not going to feel bad at 125 having this one, especially if you like this one. But let me know what you think down there. And I think that's it. I'll talk to you later.